Good evening, everybody. This is Pastor Drew, one of the pastors at Grace United Methodist Church, coming to you uh, late at night in, in for a, with a midweek message. Uh, I am still at the church, and it's 10 o'clock at night because, it's for good reason, because we just finished recording some pre-recorded elements for our Christmas Eve service. This is a, a Christmas like no other, and so part of our Christmas Eve worship will include some pre-recorded elements. So um, we're kind, I'm kind of like in between Advent and Christmas at the same time right now. We have a great crew working really hard to make this Christmas as good as it can be. Uh, it will be very special. The folks who are working on it are wonderful and I'm very thankful for them. But I wanted to um, still come to you even though it's late at night with uh, a prayer and uh, a song. Uh, also with a couple reminders. One is that we will have in-person worship this Sunday, which is December 6th at 4 p.m. We're doing drive-in worship this week. Because of the rise in COVID numbers and the cold, we're just gonna stay in our cars. So if you visit the website, you can sign up to be one of those cars to come and join us for an Advent worship service outside from the barn, which you'll be able to hear through your car radio. Again, that's this Sunday, December 6th at 4 p.m. Visit the website so you can sign up. We are also looking forward to Christmas Eve. Uh, after an Advent like no other, we will have a Christmas like no other. There's gonna be an online element as well as another drive-in service. All those details, dates, and times are gonna be coming out very soon on the website and in all of our announcements and emails and stuff like that. But uh, I hope so far you're having a blessed Advent, even though it's an Advent like no other. And I, I wanted to share with you a, a traditional Advent hymn I'm not going to sing it. It's too late. My voice is a little tired. But uh, it's called Creator of the Stars of Night. And it's one of the oldest hymns in our hymnal. And it's traditionally used in Advent. What you may not know about Advent is it's not traditionally or originally about looking forward to the birth of Christ. It's traditionally kind of like a little Lent. It's looking forward to the second coming of Christ and trying to invite God to prepare us uh, and make us ready for the coming of Christ when he comes for judgment, even though he is full of grace. We anticipate him coming once and for all to judge the earth and our, ourselves and to cleanse the earth from all sin and death and to comfort all those who mourn and to finally consummate, complete his new creation. So in that spirit comes this hymn, Creator of the Stars of Night which I'll just re read a few stanzas of, and then I'll close with a prayer. Listen to these words. Creator of the stars of night, by people's everlasting light, Jesus, Redeemer of us all, hear thou thy servants when they call. Thou, sorrowing at the helpless cry of all creation doomed to die, didst come to save our fallen race by healing gifts of heavenly grace. When earth was near its evening hour, thou didst in love's redeeming power like bridegroom from his chamber come, forth from a virgin mother's womb. At thy great name exalted now, all knees in lowly homage bow, all things in heaven and earth adore, and own thee king forevermore. To thee, O Holy One, we pray, our judge in that tremendous day, ward off while yet dwell below the weapons of our crafty foe. To God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit three in one, praise, honor, might, and glory be from age to age eternally. Beautiful hymn, excellent prayer that that coming of Christ, not just at Christmas, but ultimately in the end of time, will in fact achieve what has been promised in Christ, who promises to rid the world of sin and evil and death and to wipe away every tear. Uh, I'm glad I got to share it with you tonight. Now receive this uh, final prayer from the service of evening prayer. Let's pray. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path. 
that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Advent traditionally begins in the dark, in the truth that the world is not as it should be. And even from the dark, we proclaim and praise God for the promise that is coming into the world. We demand it in the name of Christ, that Christ does come and fix this place. But we do so by praising God for the promises made, the promises kept, and the promises that will come to fruition in time. So as you rest or wake, if you're watching this in the morning or at some other time, uh, I encourage you to praise God, even in the midst of Advent, uh, not just for what we remember at Christmas, but for what we anticipate, the promise that we've been given by God's grace through Jesus Christ. Love you. Good night.